Yo, 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 what's going on, my Sobbers? The Sobbing Sobble here. Whether you're preparing a turkey or playing Pokemon Sword and Shield, although Sobble already betrayed me because of his awful evolution, so now I'm in the Score Bunny squad. Don't worry, Sobble, I still love you. I am coming back to music with a new series called The First Listen. So, this is basically where I listen to a song and give my first opinions about it. Some of my opinions could potentially change, but yeah, this is going to be the first time I'm going to listen to uh, these songs. And some of these songs might have released around the summer or the winter, and I haven't even listened to them yet. So, yeah, about that, I am downloading Spotify, and let's see what we're going to listen to. Okay, as you can see here, Spotify is downloading 20 seconds left. We should expect to see this any moment now. I don't know why I have tag with Ryan and uh, Tom Jetski too. Uh, my five-year-old brother likes to play those games. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know why I have those games. It's just random. Let's see how much time. And should be coming in three, two, one. Uh, should be coming now. <laughs> do, do, do. Do, do, do. This happens to me all the time. Wait, wait. I, th I think it downloaded. Yay, it downloaded. So, we're going to listen to some songs today. And, yeah, give me a second here. Here we are, guys. We are in music heaven. So, we got New Music Friday, Today's Top Hits, and like songs, I, there's some songs I haven't heard of before that I'm going to listen to, so yeah. Okay, so let's start off with Today's Top Hits. We got Don't Start Now, Everything I Wanted, Circles, Memories. I heard these on the radio and some of them. Uh, so yeah. So we got, uh, I want to hear Everything I Wanted first, and then I... Like, this is why I heard Hot Girl Bummer for the first time. It's easily the worst song of 2019. Worse than Earth. So, yeah, let's listen to some songs and, yeah, let's go. This happens to me all the time. So, the first song today is Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish. Now, I really loved her album that came out early this year, but I wonder what this, how this song would go. It looks really good, good lowercase letters, perfect cover art. So, yeah. Silence, this is a good way to start it. Okay. I don't know what's going on here, but pretty sure it's, uh, like, it sounds weak. Like, she's going with the mi mi minim how do I say this word? Minimalistic vibe going on, like she did in When the Party's Over and Bury a Friend, two of my favorite songs. And the best songs off that album, of course. It, I should say Zanny's the best uh, in the album, but yeah. Or listen before I go. This sounds good so far. I'm not catching on to the lyrics yet. This is a bit quiet. Oh, it has a groove! So I stepped off the golden. Like, I have to watch the lyric video in order for me to catch on to the lyrics, because I have no idea what she's saying until you look at the lyrics. This is four minutes of five. I'm actually digging this. I'm giving this a heart. If this is like her lead single to, uh, to her next album that might come out in 2020. I'd be hyped because this sounds good. I'm actually bopping my head. The production's fantastic. Yay, when the party's over, vocal effects. This is literally a mixture of Glory of Friend and When the Party's Over. This sounds good. This is fantastic. This is 
good. This is good. Gotcha. Silence. Great. I'm giving a round of applause. This is good so far. They called me weak. Okay, so they're making fun of Eilish? Okay, so basically she's thinking it's a nightmare or something. Like it's make believe. Okay, this is it. This is one of her better songs. If, if this song actually becomes good, then I'm definitely going to put this on the best of 2020 list. If it becomes good enough and has good streaming charts to actually make it to the year end. It sounds like really fantastic elevator music. Chorus. I wonder what the bridge sounds like, because it looks like there's enough. This was actually number 8 on the top 10. I think it's the good as hell treatment. This sounds fantastic. And the song ends. The groove's coming on. This is a good song. I, I give it a 10 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10. It sounds really, really good. I love this song. So, yeah, let me look for other songs. I'm taking a jump for the shark, guys. Okay. Let me just start off with a. What was that? Off of the ground. It's just love the ground. Oh, wait, shit. Oh, already you're referencing to the Instagram. Off of the ground. Why am I even rewinding? It's just love the ground. Oh, wait, shit. Something about this production is a little. outdated. What the heck? Heavily auto tuned. Like, this is heavily auto tuned. Here's my five year old brother saying this song is quote unquote fantastic. Better than everything I wanted. For me, not taking the vibe. So, is he talking about this girl he like, that he likes? Oh dear lord, what is this? I'm happy that this is like the average rapper's length song, two, two minutes. I don't take this Jamal. I guess Miley Cyrus would like this because of reference to Malibu. Why are you referencing to Malibu? Oh god, what is this? I mean, it, it has a good beat. It has a good beat. Last. Pass. This is average rag 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 rag. Oh, dude. People, you hear what they're screaming these days? This is giving me a weird vibe. I'm, I'm not a fan of this. Sorry, guys. If you like this song, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think that's the song. Not a fan of it. I give it a 1 out of 10 or I give it like a zero, out of, like a zero out of five. Let's see what else we got. It's 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 bad, Roxane. Uh, what else we have? Look at her now. Good as hell remix. Lover remix. Watermelon sugar. South of the border. Nice to meet ya. So I got a good idea. I have a couple of songs that I haven't heard yet here. So. What should I start off with? Like, I... Those are the songs I heard already. Uh... I want to start with... Either I Warned Myself or Cruel Summer. Should it... 
I heard Raising Hell is fantastic. I haven't heard Lovely yet, but I heard it's a song that makes you cry, so I'm not prepared for that. I don't know, is it- could it be either I Warn Myself or Cruel Summer? I don't know. Let's decide on it later. They're giving me, uh, I Warn Myself on Chill Hits. Watch this short video. Why are they giving me this? I warn myself oh, this sounds I bouncy. Play with fire, but I can tell that I'll do like, Charlie Puth is starting to sound like an awful person, but that starts to sound really good. No good for my health. Okay, this is actually a good song. Ooh, it's giving out like a haunting vibe. I don't have to worry. He's overseas out on his tour. He'll be okay with that. This is good. I heard segments of this, but. Lyrics. Mmm. Produced by Benny Blanco? The guy who made Eastside? His songwriting process for this track differed from his past hits. Like, attention and how long. I can't explain in So this is kind of like uh, attention, but it doesn't sound like attention. It sounds really haunting, like a Billy Eilish Charlie Puth. It, it sounds really good. So yeah. Ooh. I'm definitely streaming this this Tuesday. This is a train incoming, excuse me, because the train's gonna interrupt. So it looks like the train left. Let's, we're in the we're in the middle point. This is a great group. If this charts if Charlie's next album comes out, I, it, this is good. I'll go far as this is saying it's better than how long. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good vocal. This sounds like something from like an action movie. This is right. Playing from playlist chill hits. This is chill. Oh, this sounds so good. This sounds like something a tribe would jam to. Like a. Like a how is there another train coming? There goes another train for some ungodly reason. Oh, there's some extra stuff. Right. Ooh. Oh, that was an epic outro. You know what? That's a great song. Five out of five. It's, it's really good. It's really good. Let's let's see what else is. Here. So I heard the original "Good as Hell." Uh. Millions of times, because my radio loves that song, and I love it too. But I never heard the Ariana Grande remix. No, not better it's not. Short video. There we go. Hopefully this works. So here's the art cover. Looks too simplistic, but... No Grande. This is basically the first verse. This sounds fantastic, but I want to I want to know if the remix holds it. The the Lover remix with Sean Mendes completely ruined Lover, so yeah, let's see, let's see how Grande does. Wait, what? Oh, there's this Grande. She actually fits into the beat. Oh, she's actually doing the free course. Alright. Yeah. They actually have a good chemistry. But who does better than Grand Day? Sorry. Considering what she made in February, you know the one I'm talking about? Yeah. They're giving the ad-libs away. 
Here's the best part. Damn it! Grande ruined it! You know what? This actually ruined the song for me, the remix. The original is millions better than than that. Now, I want to find this song that I never heard of. I heard people say it's very awful. Uh, it's like the same title as that one Sam Smith song with Naughty Boy from 2014. You know what? I give up. I'm looking it up. I heard the intro to this song. That's it. I heard this... The intro for me. This guy doesn't even have a good... From the Naughty from Canada. Everyone... Everyone in the music critic community has been memeing that line. <laughs> BB No Money. Whose voice you're hearing now is from Canada, Vancouver, to be exact. Every song I don't like, he's just saying it sounds good. I also want to hear the remix to this, too. Because I heard it's ten times worse than this. The production's not good. The guitar, the guitar just sounds kind of fake. What the hell is that beeping? I heard this part, too. Seriously? Do they think this is a good effort? It sounds un more unfinished than Only Human. What is this? Am I living in hell? Yeah, that beeping's just annoying the hell out of Okay, this I, I I don't know if I can finish this. Chorus. Yeah, this is bad. Get to it. Oh. This guy doesn't even rap. Oh, oh. This production's awful. Finally, Jamal actually agrees with me. Okay, okay, that's it, that's it. This is the second song on Spotify that I couldn't even listen to. This is actually the second time I stopped. When I stopped. The first time I stopped listening to a song for the first time was Hot Girl Bummer. That, that song was... Uh, they released another remix? Uh, I want to hear this one, though. Why would they add Carly Rae Jumpson and Enrique Iglesias? What the? I guess they chose her because she's from the north and she's from Canada. They don't even have a chemistry! Do you guys think this sounds good? It's longer than the... It's longer than the original? Diamond Axe, if you're watching this, use this as your transition song to the top and worship song for 2019. Everyone's saying that. I don't know why they're here. Carly sounds awful. Yeah, I can't finish this one either, guys. I'm sorry. I I need to cleanse my head. That's both of them are, are zero out of five. They, 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 yeah, they're zero. That means they. That, so they are thumbs down. Give me a high five. You're gonna be like another mu old music critic one day. Uh, let's see.
Let's try to heal ourselves heal ourselves with some dance monkey. I've heard this like million times already, so I just wanna heal myself with some dance monkey. I hope this becomes a mega hit. They just performed this at the Jimmy Fallon show, and that could give it a massive boost. So I'm hoping this makes the 2020 year end. So yeah, what what else should we listen to? I don't know, guys. I I should do a second episode, but yeah, worst song, la la la, best song, everything I wanted. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope you want to see more of this. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.